Now let's talk about the so-called matched Z-transform method. So remember the problem with the impulse impulse invariance method was that then that's the impulse invariance method generates complex intermediate results. So let's do it like this. So the impulse invariance method generates complex intermediate results and this is obviously for practical applications not great. Nobody would design an IR filter with complex intermediate results. So the solution is in, in general to work with complex conjugate pairs or better preserve the complex conjugate pairs from the analog design. So this remember our function which was something like S minus S infinity multiplied by S minus S infinity star. And so these complex conjugate pairs, they're guaranteeing that the that the output of the filter is real. Yeah, so so these match pairs here, they guarantee guarantee that the output is real valued. Okay, so the general idea of the matched Z-transform the following. So we've got our analog function h of s and we have it in the following form. So we have again these s minus a k and they are just as a product here. k running from 1 to m for example. So we have here so-called zeros yeah, so these are just complex frequencies here where the output is zero and we have our poles. Yeah, so let's call them here again S minus B K. So these are our poles. And they and we just do a transform which is essentially doing this one to one so that we turn this here into again product k equals one to m and then one minus e2 a k t that two minus one and then we've got here again the product from one to n for example and then we've got here 1 minus e2 b k t z2 minus 1. And so we see 
that we're just transforming essentially so transform all zeros a k two e two a k t and do the same so transform all poles with bk and e2 bk t so we just do it one to one by that but the actual benefit of this is here that we can that these pairs are actually preserved yeah so so this product stays a product here and then we can match up complex conjugate pairs with each other on the other side again.